Hey, Psych2Goers, and welcome back. Depression does not look the same in everyone. Did you know depression can look different in teens? Its manifestation is known to be influenced by several factors, external and internal, one of them being age. The adolescent brain is very plastic. That is, teenagers and adolescents go through a huge developmental period in their brains during this time. These changes are also paired with life stress unique to adolescents and a brain that is not fully developed. This means that some mental health conditions such as depression may manifest differently in teenagers versus adults, but it in no way means that they are any less significant. In this video, we're going to explore some signs of depression in teens. So with that said, here are 10 warning signs of depression in teens. Number one, more irritability. Why do some teens seem to struggle with their temper? The teenage brain is already prone to mood swings. With so much forming and changing, they can have a hard time regulating emotions as it is. And with depression, these mood changes can heighten. According to an article from Very Well Mind, irritability and defiance are much more common in depressed teens than depressed adults. This may be because adults are generally more equipped to handle stronger emotions and are therefore less prone to acting out. Number two, sensitivity to criticism. Do you know a teen who avoids taking risks in fear of criticism? This may be a result of increased sensitivity to criticism, which is common in teenage depression. As reported in a study by Morin in 2020, it's normal to be a little nervous about what someone might say However, depressed teens may find themselves so afraid that they avoid doing something they really love. Though the exact reason isn't clear, this may have something to do with the lower levels of self-confidence and self-worth that come along with depression. It's important to notice that teens who find themselves in this spot aren't just lazy or insecure. There might be something more to the story. Number three, staying in their rooms a lot. Do you know a teenager who only seems to come out of their room for meals? Do they seem to disappear throughout the day? This may be a sign of depression. A common sign of depression in adults and teens is social isolation. For many teens, your rooms are primarily what you consider to be your space, and that tends to be where you isolate. It's not that you don't wanna see others or to be around them, but more so that your depression may be forcing you to only feel at ease when you're alone. Number four. Selective social withdrawal. Do you know a team who seems to withdraw from certain people, but not others? It turns out that depressed teens tend to socially withdraw more selectively than adults. Typically depressed teens might hold on to close friendships and relationships and isolate from family. Adults, by contrast, tend to isolate an equal amount from almost all of the relationships in their lives. Number five, throwing themselves into work. Do you know a teen who seems to bury themselves in schoolwork? Does it seem like they spend a long time working? There are multiple reasons for this, but among other things, this could be a sign of teenage depression. Distraction is a common coping mechanism for depression, and teens often have a heavy plate of work. Thus, some of you resort to temporarily distracting yourself with assignments, even those that might not be due anytime soon. Number six, slipping grades. On the flip side, another common sign of depression in teens is that their grades might slip. On the outside, this may look like laziness, but this could be a sign of something bigger. Schoolwork is demanding and depression can take a toll on someone's mental state. Therefore, if a teenager's grades are slipping, it might be because depression is taking away the energy and motivation for them to do their best. Number seven, harder time focusing. Do you or does a teen you know seem to have a harder time concentrating than normal? With anything from schoolwork to hobbies, a harder time focusing on everyday tasks could be a sign of teenage depression. According to Smith and others in a study published in 2020, depression can be very energy consuming. And as a result, many teens find it harder and harder to concentrate, even on things that would normally capture their attention. Like other signs on this list, it's important not to assume laziness if you notice this in yourself or in a teen around you. Difficulty concentrating could be a sign of not only depression, but a number of mental health issues that are not your fault. Number eight, changes in energy. Does a teen close to you appear suddenly more restless or sluggish? Both of these changes in energy could be signs of depression. 
According to Stanford Children's Health, sluggishness in depressed teens shows up in their speech, reactions, and movement. The same article explained that depression-related restlessness can look like fidgeting or acting up publicly. A consistent change in energy or out-of-character behavior could indicate an issue beneath the surface. Number nine, changes in daily habits. Do you notice different eating or sleeping patterns in a teen? Similar to adults, changes in sleep and appetite are common signs of teenage depression. Whether eating and sleeping too much or too little, teens with depression often find themselves taking less care of their health and well-being. Every once in a while, catching up on sleep or not feeling as hungry is totally normal. However, a consistent shift to unhealthy habits could be a sign of something larger. And number 10, physical pains. Did you know that depressed teens tend to have more pronounced physical pain than depressed adults? According to Help Guide, depressed teens tend to be more impacted by aches and pains than depressed adults. These physical pains can be anywhere in the body and seem spontaneous. Stomach aches, headaches, and cramping throughout the body are all equally possible. If you or a teen you know continues to ache without any other physical condition, it could be a physical manifestation of depression. Regardless of age, depression is a very real and very serious mental illness that can creep onto you silently. Therefore, it helps to keep an eye out for its snare. But you don't have to fight it all on your own. Don't be afraid to ask for help, nor let the stigmas attached deter you. No matter how bad it gets, there's always hope that things can get better. Reaching out to a psychologist or a counselor and getting the help you need can not only improve your life, but also encourage others to break away from the stigmas to seek help. We hope we were able to give you some insight into common signs of teenage depression and how it may differ from depression in adults. Did we miss anything? What are some other areas it manifests differently? Leave a comment down below and please feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there figuring out the complexities of this disorder. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. And as always, thanks for watching.